no, no, no. This is unacceptable. After I gave this thing 500,000 Naira? Why didn't your boyfriend show up in my house today? You want me to tell him that I gave you money. You think this is a joke, right? I will not be made to live in fear and blackmail, ma'am. Go ahead and tell him. Tell him! Everything I did, I did for him. And if he won't forgive me, then so be it! Stop. Stop yelling, Egede. Stop it! Oh, Liva. Did I yell at me? A common maid. A slave. A hungry little. Egede, you should not have yelled at me, Frank. Ma'am, I'm sorry. But it was becoming too much. She insults me at every opportunity. Imagine her calling me a hungry girl. Ma'am, I'm sorry. Ransom. You're the first one I've ever desired this much. Please come with me. Okay, we can just, you know, stay here and chill. Make love to me, please. God forbid. God forbid. Am I not beautiful? Uh, am I not better than your girlfriend or whatever she's called? Are you rejecting me? Not, not anymore. So you're rejecting me then? Yes. Those who are contributing to my sadness will have to die. Hey, that bad? Yes, that bad. I want a Gede dead. What? Are you drunk? Why do you want to kill? For what? I want you to give it to her to eat. I want you to give it to her so that she will eat it when she gets home and before morning she will be dead. No one will suspect you because she died in her home and on her bed. In fact, Ransom will be in so much trouble because they are not yet married and he has no legal right to be living with her. So he'll have to explain to her family, uh, that is if she has any family, and to the police about her death. No. I can't. I can't kill. If you do not do this, Donna, consider us no longer friends. You don't have to make lunch today. I actually went to a fast food place and here is what I got for you. <laughs> I hope you like chicken. Yes, ma'am. I do like chicken. Are you sure you don't want me to make anything for dinner? Uh, no, no, not, not yet. Okay. I really do love chicken, you know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 
Ma'am, the headache has lingered long enough. Thank God for your perception. I would not have suspected anything at all. I owe you lots of gratitude. Okay. Give me money, make it do small. Nobody say I sell my nash. She give you. <laughs> so we can actually be friends. <laughs> Don't eat it. I told you, you bought it for me. It's poisoned. Desiree wants you dead. She gave it to me to give to you. It's alright, okay? It's alright. Let's just thank God that he touched Donna not to let you eat the chicken. And how could I have lived without you? It's my fault. I did something I shouldn't have done. Something... Something I've been hiding from you. Remember when I came hard on you? Telling you to sing for Desiree? No. She bribed me to do it. I asked her for money and she gave me 500,000 naira. I came home, gave you part of the money for your school fees, and lied to you, I got a salary increase. I didn't do it to hurt you. I did it because I love you. I didn't want you to drop out in your final year. All I wanted to do was just collect the money and give it to you. I know I shouldn't have, I know. And I'm sorry. I, I, I never knew that that decision would make someone want me dead. It's okay. It's alright. Hmm? It's alright. I mean, you you shouldn't have, but I forgive you, all right? I'm sorry. It's okay. I understand. We all are not perfect. I mean, even me. I'm not. But I, I think it's, it's the right time for me to tell you my own imperfections. It's nothing. I know you had jump on you and all that. Getting you drunk, smearing her lipsticks all over your clothes. I forgive you for that a long time ago. No, no. I did something worse than that. And I can't hide it from you again. I. I actually. I actually slept with this really. Desiree, I, I couldn't do it. I mean, how could I kill? And this girl has not just been a cook to me this past few days, but also a sister. Looking out for me, even in my failed relationship with that imposter, Josh. You're joking. Donna, this is treachery. You, you, this is betrayal. You, you're, you're selling out on me. You, you're kidding, right? Listen, Desiree, don't talk like this. No, what do you mean, don't talk like this? Donna, you were selling out on me just because of that trashy girl you met less than two months ago? Wait, I feel betrayed, Donna. That's where you betrayed yourself. I did not betray you. Since when did we turn to killers? I ask you particularly, since when did you become a killer? To a killer. Who is killing who? Darling, what is all this talk about killer here? Who is a killer here? Donna! My student, you asked Desri 
why she wants to turn into a killer. Who is she killing? Have you seen it? Have you seen what you've cost? Loud mouth. Have you seen it? I hope you're happy now. Leave my house. Leave my house. Don't stand there listening to my parents. If you want to listen to your parents, you know you're going to prison. Go there and listen to your father in jail. Leave my house. Nonsense. What? Desiree, you're very spoiled. Very, very spoiled. You always want to have your way and when you do not get it, you become malicious and vile. Oh, I should go talk to my father in jail, eh? Okay. Mr. and Mrs. Williams, she is the one that wants me to poison somebody for her. Liar! All the spiteful attitudes you see her putting up is because I refuse to give my cook the poison chicken she gave me to give to her. She wants my cook dead because she wants my cook's boyfriend for herself. Bitch, I will kill you! Kill you! Kill you! Advised me to snatch him in the first place. Was it not you? Did I ask you to kill his girlfriend? Did I ask you to kill his girlfriend? Did I ask you to kill his girlfriend? Shut up, woman. 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 You said she's your only daughter. Let her spend it. Now, she has started playing with poison and other things that border on taking human life. My own daughter. No more spending allowance for her. No more idle spending. You haven't started soaking yet. You are leaving this house. You are going to London. Go there and work three jobs in 16 hours a day so that you can pay for your rent, gas, and other bills. By then, you will know that life is tough. Go and work in harsh weather, summer and winter. Finally, I think I support you more that there will be no more allowance for you in this house. And I am sending you away from this country. You need to be on your own. Work, save, and figure out how to pay your own bills. Your mother hasn't been more right. You leave this house. Daddy, you're sending me away. My dear, I am sending you away. You need to live on your own and learn how to live a responsible life. Yes. And you, I don't want to see you in this house again. Both of you are bad influence to each other. Go home. And I pray that you will find a way to change as well. And you, go upstairs and stay in your room till I buy your ticket tomorrow. You need to go responsible. Or else, you can't come back to this house again. You can't get any pain from us. Go abroad and face life. Go and rough it out. to give you some money. You said that before. Affirmative. You don't want to know how much it is. It's five million naira. Right here in this bag. Okay. I hear. Listen. It's alright. Stop crying. 
It's going to be all right. You can build on this money. And in a few months, it will be 10 million. And on and on and on. Yeah. Where is Egede? She has not been coming to work and she's not been picking her call. Egede left me. What? Egede left me three days ago. What? I, I, I slept with Desri and I confessed to her. She, she just went into a shock and started packing her things and she just left. I pleaded and pleaded, but she refused. She refused. I got her left to you? Oh my god. I got her left me. <laughs> so you see why? All the money you brought cannot make me happy. Igede has left with my happiness. My happiness is gone. Igede left with my happiness. <laughs> Please, stop the tears. Everything will be okay. Please stop crying. It's going to be all right. Even if I have all the money in this world, if I don't have any day, I have nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Stop crying. Can't you see it's the hand of fate walking? Can't you feel the tenderness in me? Even me, I'm, I'm surprised at myself. Did I love you all this while and I did not know it? Or did the feelings just that now flow in with your tears as I watch you cry? Whatever it is, all I know is that I do not ever want to see you cry again. I want to sing for you. I want to sing for you. So, you still not coming? No, I... I can't be it. Honey, I only sing at a club on Fridays. And I, I do it for fun. Besides, the club belongs to us. So, why does it make you feel like I'm belittling myself by going to the pub and sing on Fridays, just for fun? It reminds me so much of the days you struggled and you had to sing for money. <sighs> I hate to remember those days. I hate to remember that you were my husband all along and I just did not see it. I wish I saw it one time. I would have taken you from both of them without allowing all that drama to happen. Everything happened for a reason. You, me, Ikede, Desiree, 
how we met. Everything is just God's design plan for us. You never know why until you know why. So what? Still not coming? No. I wish you were there. I'm going to sing the song I sang the first day I met you. When you and your friends sent champagne to my table, do you remember? I want a dream of someone to call my own. I want a dream lover. I don't want to dream of love. I want a dream of someone to call my own. I want a dream lover. I don't want to dream of love. I love you, baby. I love you so much. <laughs> Value of what you got till you gotta lose it. Lose it, lose it. I never knew how real the statement is till I gotta feel it. Feel it, feel it. Yeah. You walked out of my life and it feels like the bread in the season. Hey. I never see them before. I thought it would be a happy ending. It is like the dust in the air. I cannot breathe. I cannot breathe fresh air It is like the smoke in my eyes I cannot see, I cannot see this clear It is like a thorn on my flesh I cannot live, I cannot live with it You played a good part in my life Now you wanna leave You're my sunshine and rain Golden rain, shining sun Yeah, you're my sunshine and rain From this pain I am feeling You are the sun in my life You light up my life Now that you've gone You blanked up my light Oh, to me you're my earth My sun, my rain My water, wind and fire You're my sunshine and rain Golden rain, shining sun Yeah, you're my sunshine and rain So 
Hello, darling. I'm home. Your day. It was good. Mm. You know, every time I come home and I see you in this house, lying on our bed or cooking in the kitchen, mm, I smile and I thank God for making our paths cross mm -hmm. and for making you my wife. I bless God too. I bless Him even more. Mm. Have you been sleeping for long? Mm. All the time. Mm. It's about 10 or 6. 1006? My, ah, my goodness. You didn't realize it was that late? No, I slept about an hour ago, 9 p.m. I was gonna call you, but I just concluded you would have been jammed in traffic. You know what, baby? I was really in traffic. Mm -hmm. But not to worry, now that I've seen you, I'm happy. I'm not gonna bother you, okay? Mm -hmm. I'll just go into the bathroom, take a shower, and I'll join you in bed. Kiss, kiss. Mm. <laughs> night, night. Night, night, baby. Did you eat something though? Uh, what you eat? Rice. Hmm? Rice, my love. I'm talking to you. You, you were the same person I met at the club, right? I'm talking to you. What do you want from me? What you got till you get to lose it. Lose it, lose it. I never knew how real the statement is till I gotta feel it. Feel it, feel it. Hey, you walked out of my life and it feels like the bread in me is seizing. Hey, I never see them before. I thought it would be a happy ending. It is like the dust in the air. I cannot breathe. You left me. Did you expect me to survive? Did you leave me to die? Anson, there's no time for this now. I want answers. I came back. At least I made contact. I met my husband shortly after I left you. I, I, I wasn't thinking. I got married. Don't misunderstand me. He's a good man. I hear you ended up with Donna. Got married to her. I was surprised. 
I mean, I wasn't expecting you to end up with her. I didn't care. At that point, I didn't care. Because I was angry with you. I was still angry. But time passed. Time passed and, and all I wanted was to see you. The only urge I felt was to, was to see you. I tried. I fought until I could fight no more. I heard you open the pub with Donna, where you sing every Friday. I veiled my face and came to listen to you. I know you saw me, but I had to run away. I ran because I didn't want to ruin the perfect life you had created for yourself. But the deed had been done. I had seen you, and I knew I couldn't live apart from you anymore. So that's it? Is that it? After all we've been through, after all these years, married to two different people, that's it? If we knew it would end up this way, why, why did you bother to love it? Don't blame me. Blame yourself. You cheated. You destroyed us. I cheated, yes, I agree, I cheated. But I cheated with my body, but my heart still beat for you. I still love you as you that I want, not as we. Really. Couldn't you forgive me? No! Forgive what, Ransom? Forgive what? My God! My heart still pounds at the thought of you in bed with her. You cheated with Desiree. That still haunts me till now. All right then. I'll leave. At least you've seen this unforgivable man in your life. I'll leave now. You got till you gotta lose it. I never knew how real the statement is. Still, I gotta feel it. Yeah. You walked out of my life, and it feels like the bread in me is seizing. Hey, I never see him before. I thought it would be a See how clean your shirt is. You know, from henceforth, I'll do your laundry myself. Who are you calling? Nobody dear, I'm just playing games with my phone. Serious, no, you're a sex freak. You are the sex freak. No, you're a sex okay, freak. Okay, okay, all sex freak. <laughs>
Hey, darling. Hey. You're, you're back. Yeah. I brought you stuff. Stuff? What, what stuff? You know, yesterday, while you were getting dressed to go out, I was getting dressed too. I overheard you saying uh, the shoe we were putting on didn't match with your dress. So I decided to get you something that matches. Then I hope you like it. Then I um, hope you uh, like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoot. Oh, I. I mean, I, I wasn't complaining for you to buy me a new one, Sha, but, um... Thank you. You're welcome, honey. Come here. So how's my wife doing today? Um... To be you, you know you have to get back to work. Honey, you know how you complain I come all the time to check on you? Yes, yes, I, I complain too. You, you do it too much. Yeah. Yes, I it doesn't matter, baby. I own the place. Okay, I'm the boss, so I can come and go as I like. All right? Oh, yes, yes, come yeah. you, you, Um, Darling, you you have to lead by example. You know, pretty soon your employees will start to do the same. Leave the office and come back at meal. Hey, good. hey, baby. An extra 15 minutes spent with my wife, stolen from my break time, will not ruin any company. You understand? <laughs> Besides, this house is just 15 minutes away from the office. Oh, yes, yes. So they will call me if they need me. Yeah, yes, yes. They right? They come. Come here. Oh, come here. oh my, 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 my God. I, oh, tell me not now, not now, please. I, I have this terrible headache. Because yeah. actually, on my way to the pharmacy before you came, I, I feel so terrible. Is it bad? It's, it's excruciatingly terribly bad. I mean, it's, it's hurting. I, all right, baby, you know what? Why don't you lie down and rest for a bit? I mean, I could keep you company. All right, give you TLC, tender love again. All right? Yes, yes, I, I should. So lie down. Wait, how could I forget so soon? I need a brufen. I need it so badly. I mean, the headache is it's like a migraine. Um, why don't you rush off to med pharmacy and get me a brufen? I mean, that's... The only pharmacy I'm certain would have original drugs and a fake med. med oh, my, I can't even talk. Hey, hey, hey. Just like that, baby. Baby, it's okay. I'll get you the drug. But promise me you're gonna rest. Yes, yes. I, I will. Just quickly get the e ibuprofen. Ibuprofen. I'm right back. Don't stress yourself. Med farm. Med Don't stress yourself. I know. Just promise you won't stress yourself. I won't. Just lie down with me. Yeah, you. the only ones that have original I'm right drugs. Back. You don't to med worry. farm. Okay. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten.
Hello, dear. Baby, where are you? I'm so sorry. I know you must have been worried sick. Do you want to kill me? No. I mean, God forbid. How can I kill my husband? I, as I speak to you now at the salon, under the dryer, I, I figured out my human hair is the reason for my headaches. I mean, it's been on my hair two weeks now. So I said to take it off, wash my hair, and then fix it back on. I'm so sorry, I couldn't wait to see you before leaving or tell you. But you could have called. You know the phone thing gives you more headache? The radiation thing from phoning? Alright. The drugs will be on the bedside drawer. I'll be going back to the office. Is there anything you want me to bring for you when I'm coming back? No, no, I um no. I'm I'm fine. If I need anything, I'll call you. I love you. Did you hear me? Yes. I'll see you in the evening. Take care of yourself for me. Okay. I don't want to lie to him. I don't want to deceive him. Why is life so unfair? Why can't we control our emotions? Why can't we choose whom to love and whom not to love? Why do I love you, Ransom? He's a good man. I ought to love him, not you. We don't need to see each other again. Since we belong to someone else. This will keep us going. We need to make a memory. Memories forever. That is rubbish. I can't stay away from you. I can't. I want you to leave, Donna. Tell her it's over. Tell her she wants to leave. What is the matter? Nothing, I... I'm fine. Donna, I want to tell you something. You don't have to tell me anything. I'm your wife and I can read your mind 90% of the time. I know why you're moody. It's because I have not come to the club to watch you sing. Even when I know that you want nothing else more than for me to come watch you sing your heart out for me. And then the car business. I promise to open for you. Yes, I have not opened it. But baby, it's not that I do not want to open it. I only want to have concrete suppliers abroad. So that they can supply us with good cars. Especially now that people travel abroad or shop online for cars and then the cars would come in in three weeks. Baby, we have to put some extra factor to this business so that people can come and buy from us even when they know they can shop online from American auction sites at half the same price. Try it, darling. Everything will be done in good time. And then guess what? I will come to the pub and watch you sing this Friday. Are you happy now? Yeah, I'm happy now. So you eat your food now? Yeah. Thank you. Eat. You did so well. Your <laughs> really? show was the bomb. Oh, really? Thank you so much. <laughs> wow, man. I actually just sink in the nose. I was like, wow, that's my husband. Look at what we we have um, jello fries, white rice, and uh, drinks. Um, this uh, you've made um, 
Eban and um, Agosa Su. Uh, Madam, uh, what do you want as well? What should I take? Same. The same. 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 Okay, ma. Okay, ma. All right. <laughs> I was just there with this, your smile. Your smile was so much brighter. <laughs> my God. I was blushing. Yeah. So proud of you. Madam. So, what can we find you? Um, I. A Chapman. Chapman is fine. Okay. Oh. Hey, um, excuse me, I I'm sorry, I I don't want anything. Okay, no problem. Tell me what it is. Mm -mm. Why? You did something that deep? This man, leave me alone, this man. Leave me alone, this man. What is it? So I cannot calm you down when you're angry? Of what use am I to you then? Calm me down as what? Calm me down as who? As your husband. Of what use are you doing? You have no use to me. Exactly. You are of no use to me, this man. So leave me alone. Did he just say I'm of no use to you? Did he just say I'm useless? Did, did, did he just say that to me? Baby, 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 baby. baby. Pity, pity face and pity, pity voice, pity everything. Go and sleep, I beg. You can just open the door and we can solve it. Whatever it is, we can sort it out, please. I've never ever hurt you for once, but you hurt me all the time and I take it because I love you so much. Please. Let me go and sleep. Go and sleep with your pretty voice. Go and sleep. Go and sleep. I need you to sleep in my arms. I can't sleep alone. Which arms? Oh yourself. Oh yourself in your arms. Oh yourself in your arms. Yeah?
Ah. You knew she was going to come and hear you sing. Why didn't you call me? Why didn't you want me not to come there and embarrass myself? Why would you allow me to go through so much pain? That's not fair. I will never do that to you. I, I, I didn't tell you because I didn't see her as an issue, okay? So just cut it off. She became an issue. She is the issue. I even trailed you down to the restaurant after you had finished singing, hoping to find you alone. But she was still there with you. How, how the heck is my fault? How? She doesn't even know you still exist. Tell her I'm back. I am back, and I want my first love back. Oh shit. What did you say? Oh shit. You watch it, Ransom. I will not allow you. You swear words on me. So then why don't you just shut my mouth then? Just shut it. You know what? I don't even know what I find to love in you anyways. You are as gutter as ever. My husband is ten times a man more than you. Ten times a good and a caring husband. Take a pig out of the slum, I done it with gold, it will still be a pig, a pig is a pig no matter what! Did you just call me the water? A pig? Did you just say such words to me? That Toby is ten times more man than me? And still you would not let me be? You find every excuse to bear your buttocks to me as much as I like you and then you stand here to tell me I'm a pig? Is that it? You know what? You are a big lover. You are a water lover. That's what you are. Why don't you just keep your bed, your bottom before with your with your ten times men, Toby? Why? Shut up! I'm sorry. Okay? I'm sorry. I want you to make what you to break up that marriage. I want you to leave, Donna. We have to be together! Baby, it's not easy like that. We're talking about him being here. We can't just break a heart like that. What about me? I treat my husband like shit. I treat him like a fool. Am I the stupid one? Am I? Oh, no, no. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Come. 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 Try as hard as I can. I cannot get over. From this pain I am feeling. You are the sun in my life. You light up my life. Now that you've gone, you blanked out my light. Oh, to me, you're my earth, my sun, my rain, my water, wind, and fire. You're my sunshine and rain, cooling rain, shining. Where are you coming from? What is going on in this house? Toby, I think you should see this. Come. Come close. You see? Mm -hmm. That's my darling husband. All drunk, crawling like an animal. You see? That is the husband that I am saddled with. Now tell me, 
do you have any moral justification whatsoever to ask me what is going on, where I am coming from, or what I intend to do? Do you? No, I presume I want to pass. Be my way. like my love, my life, my all, <laughs> ransom. So I can't even catch you, right? <laughs> so, have you been home? Yeah, I've been exactly where you left me. Where I left you? Mm -hmm. God forbid. I would never leave you. I don't intend to. As a matter of fact, I don't believe in leaving. I've been left once. And it hurts so deadly. I don't want another leaving in my life. Baby, you say this word so strongly. What is it? You're adding meaning to normal talk. There's something you did wrong. No, no, I'm, I'm fine. Baby, you know you can tell me anything. You know you can talk to me. I'm fine. Honestly, I'm, I've just been thinking, that's all. You know, sometimes I just have to reassure myself and us that we are in this relationship together forever. Reassure? Yeah. Ransom, this is not to you. What is it? Don't mind me, okay? I'm just in one of those moods. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Banging on another man's door like that. Why? I asked the gate man to open the door for you. That means I will certainly open the door for you. Listen, 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 just listen to me, okay? Donna is missing. We found her empty car and we suspect a kidnap. Tell me, where are you keeping my wife? You are so disgusting and crazy, I must add. <laughs> you think I'm going to kidnap your wife to make you come back to me? <laughs> of course not. Ransom, you love me. It's only a question of time. You will certainly yield to the demands of your heart and your soul. Oh, you and I will explore. We will explore. We will explore and leave this bondage you will call marriage. We will. 
Time will come. I had all that. I had all that. Now somebody better start talking now. Because I instructed my gate man to notify me whenever anything unusual starts happening right in my house. Because recently, my wife has become a strange woman. So he called me as soon as you came into my compound. And I drove like hell. Look at that. Who is this man? Somebody better start talking right now. Better start talking. What is going on in my house? Usman! Usman! Stop. Come here immediately. Stand right there. Mister. You better start talking. You better start talking before I instruct my gay man to deal with you. This is it. This is all the sneaking around, the phone calls, they're treating me like shit. This is it. This is it. This. Well, unknown to my parents, I've been back in this country for well over nine months now, yes. My dad is not in the country as usual, so I'm using his guest house. Of course, I still have the kids. I've been laying low, monitoring everything, and doing my own little business here and there. Does my mama look like she raised a fool? No. Because I had my own little savings. So when my parents cut me off, I fell back on my savings. I've also watched you and my boy Ransom deceive yourselves playing husband and wife while he recently started seeing and sleeping with a gede. What? Shut up, idiot. This info is not meant for you. You're a fool. Your father is equally a fool. That's why he didn't cover his tracks well and landed himself in jail for life for drugs. You inherited his foolishness. That's why you thought you could outplay me in this game and marry my boy Ransom. But I'm going to deal with you. And when I'm done with you, I will deal with a Gede. <sighs> Who Ransom is about to kill right now because he actually thinks she's the one that kidnapped you. Well, he's ready to have somebody's ass for my sake. 
That's a relief. Whatever. He wouldn't want to take you back by the time I'm done with you. What are you going to do to me? What am I going to do to you? I will leave that to your imagination, my dearest, dearest ex. Friend. You'll be hearing from me real soon. Or should I say, my boys, real soon. Attention. you up. I gave you a life. I gave you a home. You know what I get is betrayal. Cold, painful, betrayal. I want to go. I want to go. Take back the life you gave me. Take it back. I want to go back to him. Shh. Ah! Ah! To be a whore. I will teach you how to be a whore. I will teach you. No! 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 Please, madam. O Oga will sack me. Please, madam. You and him, your quarrel. You know him will sack me. If I open the gate and you go out like this, madam, please. Are you trying to disobey me? No, madam. How can I disobey you? I will get away from that gate. I will open it. You don't have to live in the hall.
Here is the key to the kibosh for you. Take your car and leave. Go inside. Pack everything. Here. You know what I get it? In my whole life, no other woman has made me feel so angry or have such a low self-esteem. But it's fine, it happens. I get over you. In fact, you're dead to me. So I mourn you like any man will mourn his dead wife. And I remarry. And time, and this time I promise you I'll get it right. So I'm just gonna take a drive. And I presume by the time I come back, you'd have been gone, safely in the arms of your first love. Take everything and go. I won't be in your way. Usman, open the gate for me. play between friends. I could go to the police and you rot in jail. Are you threatening me? What I am saying is this. Set me free and I will treat this as nothing. I will not go to the police. Even if Ransom goes to the police to report me missing, I'll just tell him I traveled out of the country without telling him for personal reasons. <laughs> Ransom will not go to the police, dear. Because right now, he thinks Egeda is the one that kidnapped you. And going to the police will put her further into trouble. He doesn't want that. He'd rather handle it quietly and talk her into saying where she has kept you. <laughs> I do not believe you. Ransom is not cheating with Egede. She left him long ago. Vanished into God knows where. Suit yourself. Believe whatever it is you want to believe. Listen, there's a stop this. 
Stop this. It's just set me free. I will not go to the police. I'll, I'll just act like it did not happen. All right, just for the sake of friendship of all the times. And if I set you free, what next? Ransom will not be there for you to go back to. Well, let me worry about that when I'm out of here. Listen, Desi. This is not worth it. Spending your entire life in jail because of your desire for a boy. It's not worth it. Think about it. There are millions of good-looking boys in this world. In this country. In this state. Even on this street. Come in, honey. Come this way. Make yourself comfortable. Who is this? Honey, this is Segere, the woman I married. You know the one I told you was cheating like mad? Hi. Toby, you told her about us? Segere, this beauty you see here, her name is Deola. You know, we met two days ago. Hmm? And I told her everything. And so far, she's doing good. She's doing her best to keep me sane and stop me from completely losing my mind over what you cost me. So I invited her over to know my house. She'll be spending the weekend. No. You must be kidding. Honey. Please get up, let me show you to the guest room. Alright? Feel at home. This is my house. Be glad I'm not moving her into a matrimonial room. This one. This one. What are you doing? Picking my things. I'm moving into the guest room for now. But I don't think I'll be moving back into this room until you and I decide what to do with each other. Toby. Please. Please, I beg you. Don't do this. I know I've lost the right to tell you what to do or what not to do when it bothers on this marriage. Please, you can't bring another woman to this house under the same roof. I beg you, there are other ways to punish me. Not like this. You sleep in her arms. I sleep here alone. I beg you, please, punish me with something else like this. I beg you. This will break my heart. I'll go insane. I beg you. Punish me in another way, not like this. You and I have nothing more to say to each other. Alright. Cheers. One. 
One, two, three, four, bang, bang, bang. <laughs> Oh my god. Mm. I'm saying. Mm. I like the way you're drinking a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god! Wait, wait, wait. I like the way you still That's my second. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh my god! Absolutely, that's what I'm talking about. Seriously, I'll tell you a stop. Is this man right? Hmm. What did he do? Was it my woman? What? Is it Mr. Yes, I understand. It's my star. Alright, you have a star. It's not an easy star. <laughs> you you have it. Don't even go there, please, my drink. Well, 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 Ransom, I'm at your gate. At my gate? What are you doing there? Oh. It's like you've come to tell me where you're having them hold Donna, right? Ransom, I don't know where Donna is. I've told you. How many times do you want me to say this? Go to the police. But you have to stop assuming I'm holding her. I don't know where she is. I, I, I don't know. You're coming out there to see her. You have to let me go. It's been three days now. You've rested well. Come on, give me some credit for, you know, let you get some rest. I know my boys fed you well too. <laughs> anyway, I am letting you go. You are? And um, you can go to the police if you want. I'm ready to go to jail. No, no. I'll just put it down to one of your mischiefs. Haven't you been heady and mischievous since we were little girls? So, um, how soon do I live here? Now. And I'm coming with you. The young man I placed to watch your house and uh, Ransom's every movement just phoned me. Guess who's in your house? Who? Ekede? No. That's a lie. Okay. I'm lying. <laughs> Let's go to your house. I want you to see Ransom's shit with your own eyes. Get her shoes and her things for me, can What if you're not holding Donna? Donna must see the police. Girls, it's been three days now. You haven't heard from her. No one has called you. No. Ransom, I want to do the right thing. Even if it means hurting you and me. We have to part ways. Since staying together will end up hurting those involved in our lives. People who have grown to love us so much. My husband. Your wife. 
with time we'll learn to stay apart from each other. I, I don't know what I'm saying. Please help me. But you do understand, don't you? We have to try not to see each other for years. Get over this emotion. We, we have to get over this emotion. If I leave you now, I won't see you again. I wish you find your wife and find her in one piece. Are you, are you living in our problems? Are you? Is that it? This is more like leaving me in the lodge. Abandoning me to my fate? Is that it? This is selfish. Selfish. All is not well in my home. And all is well in the home. I guess you and Toby have found a way to sort things out between yourself. And, and all you do is to sit here and tell me about parting? Is that, is, that, is that it? Toby brought another woman home. He's love her. I'm fine. I'll be fine. You see? All is not well in my home front as you predicted. Shit, what am I saying? What am I saying? What am I even saying? I can't even leave you now. Things are so complicated. But now, we need each other. Now is the right time. Now is the right time. We have to separate and solve our problems by ourselves. We have to understand that there's a life outside being together. We will move on. We will. Please, look for your wife. Do not spawn. Do you? Yeah. Hello? Tuna? Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Alright. Tuna is at the gate. Did you go to the police? No, I... I didn't go to the police. Why? Was it because of her? So you would protect her even if she was holding me? Even if I was dying? No, no, baby, no! No. Get out of my house, please. Get out of my house. Get out! I told you he was sleeping with her, didn't I? Do you believe me now? Baby, let's go into the room, okay? I have a lot of explanation to give you. A lot. I could have died. I could have died. While you gallivant around town with your ex? The same ex that dumped your ass and then saved you from suicide and heartbreak she gave to you? You have forgotten so fast. So fast. No, 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 wait, wait, wait,
Hello. How are you? Is she calm now? Tom, Ransom, listen. I'm very sorry. I mean, I don't know what to do. I'm really sorry for all the pains I've caused you. Perhaps I shouldn't have tried to contact you. I should have remained where Faith had put me. In your past. In your memories. I... Maybe all this wouldn't be happening to you and I now. I'm... I'm really sorry, Ransom. Honestly, I am. I... Once you leave us alone, once you take the harm you have caused so far and leave us alone, listen, I will kill you. I will kill you and gladly go to prison for murder if I ever, ever see you near ransom again. Try me. Greetings won't kill you or make you sick, Ransom. What do you want? I thought you were gone. Gone for good. Why do you always manage to surface and complicate things? Why? Let me rephrase that for you. Why did I resurface and help bring the affair with your ex to the open? Put it that way. It's better. Is that why you won't say hello to a woman who has always desired you? Had you once and will do everything and anything to have you again. Look, I don't share the illusions Donna does, okay? So you're better off with me. If no one else will have you, I will. So how about letting go of all the donors and the getters of this world and come be with me? Capish? Be glad I did not go to the police over your kidnap thought. And you still have the guts to make passes at him in my own house? Come on, Donna. Isn't he personal non grata to you? Wait, you're willing to take him back after all he has done? Galavanting all around town with his ex while you're missing and kidnapped. Desi, I think you should leave now. I, I need time to sort out my emotions. And as long as you still have the hot pants for my man, I do not see us remaining best friends. So you're going to let a man come between us? A man we can easily share. See what she calls you? A man we can share. You see what you've given room to be tapped to you? A public service man? A man any woman can have just for the asking? Come on, sweetheart. She can say whatever she wants, okay? But you know it's not true. That is not true? Okay. Between the three of us, Egede, Desiree, Donna, whom have you not slept with at some point? Whom have you not had sex with? Who? That's not say I'm just a dig on the rounds. 
It's just how complicated life can be at times. I said I'm sorry. And you know it. I get it left and create a room for me to love you. I get it and I met again in his back floor. I actually thought I still love her. But I guess what I feel for her is just a remains of passion. They have the residue of a dying love. The leftovers of love that was there. But it's there no more. Don't I assume that I love? And if true love is feelings refined in fire, then my love for you has passed through the fire of problems. And it stands true, purified, and unshakable. Those words sound more like they're meant for a getter anyway. I mean, she's the one who's passed even through more fire with you. Sweetheart, did you hear what I said? I can still make things right. Screw you. I do not need a loser in my life. You can have him for all I care. And as for you, my dear, you no longer belong here. So I expect you to leave. My lawyers will serve you with the divorce papers soon. Until you move out, your room is downstairs. The guest room. Just like that? Anduna, just like that. Don't you think you are acting in a hurry? Don't you think you are acting out of your present anger? I can still make things right. We can still sort things out. No. I'm not angry. It is a good day you love. Maybe you don't even know it yourself. You're just saying you love me because you know I feel bad right now and the spirit of fairness in you will not let you hurt me. But I'll be fine. I'll give you a divorce so you can go be with the woman who has always been meant for you. Don't stay with me out of pity. I do not want pity. I want love. And I'd rather wait till it comes in all its true colors. You cannot force love and you cannot buy love forever. Yes, you can buy it for a while, but it sells out on you completely because it is not yours. Wow. Huh? It looks like my friend Donna has lost some of the illusions too. Anyway. <clears throat> Money can't buy love, but it sure can buy sex and that's what I want from you, for now. Come on, Mansell. Give me some credit. I've always been consistent in my desires for you. Always been asking for the... body. Not the soul. So, let's do this. I want you to spend two weeks with me and I can do whatever I want with you. Then I pay you 10 million and you can go to hell or wherever, do whatever you want to do with the money. Oh, you can even marry your sweetheart at a good end. Give her a good life. Deal? A good is married. Oh, but her marriage is doomed. The guy will divorce her. So, deal. Twenty meter Nara. We have a deal. <laughs> Fifteen. That's bullshit. Twenty. And we have a deal. 
I want the money to be paid into my account before I can go anywhere with you. I'll pay the money into your account tomorrow. And I'll call you. Then you meet me wherever. Money never sleeps. Tell me about it's what it doesn't need. That's a different twist. See you tomorrow. Did you say you were gonna see your mom tomorrow? Um, I'm going tomorrow. But I don't really know that you're tired. You just press it and come back. You know I need you here. I need you in my life. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's when I'll come. Yes, Jose. It's me. I don't know. She shouldn't be coming here when you're in bed like this. What do you want? I came to ask if you wanted breakfast. I don't eat old wives' food anymore. <sighs> Beautiful Diola here will make my food when we are done chilling. <sighs> okay. Get out, please. Hey, hey, hey. Listen. You know I'm an extreme kind of guy. I might have been extremely nice or extremely so, so bad. And that is to say that right now I'm in the mood to be extremely so, so, so into the other. That is to say I don't appreciate you coming here and budging in on us. Can I have some privacy? She'll be fine. But you see, she's undergoing some stress now and uh, she's pregnant. And the both combined actually knocked her out. Pregnant? Yes, your wife is pregnant. Pregnant? Yes, your wife is pregnant. That's a good guy. Yeah, the test we carried out on her. We carried a lot of tests on her and uh, we can see that on pregnancy test. Uh, came out positive. So what would you like? Do what you like. Take me on a ways. Surprise me. Mm-hmm. 
and let, let the music play. I'm actually enjoying it. Who sang it? Bon Jovi. Hmm. Yeah. That's Bon Jovi's greatest song ever. Anyways, uh, why don't you forget about this song? Let me start my job and start earning my 20 million. Not yet. Remember the deal is. You please me for the next two weeks, and then I pay you. For now, that is what I want you to play for me. That song. So play it. Just be fine for me, okay? She's pregnant. Who is pregnant? My wife. No. But you know she has a lover. The baby is not yours. We did a scan. It's mine. No. My God. Dear, she just met this guy. The pregnancy is four weeks old, so it's mine. They did a scan at the hospital. Some money for Tifa. I want to go home. Don't go anywhere. I'll just talk her out and I'll come and talk to you some more. Please, please. Oh, 
listen. No hard feelings, okay? No hard feelings. All you need is just to sort your domestic problems at home. You are a good guy. Okay? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. I just found myself in a situation. You know what they say about not knowing people till you get close to them? You're very different. Very different from how I thought you were. <laughs> it's true. If I didn't say that I didn't believe in love, <laughs> I would have said I'm beginning to fall in love with you. I'm serious. I mean, you've You've changed the way I look at life. I see life differently and I think differently. And the funny thing is, we haven't even had sex yet. <laughs> yet, I want to be with you, I enjoy talking with you, I enjoy spending time with you. I'm serious. That is a good thing. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> so, what was I going to say? He won't start kicking yet. Mm -hmm. I'm just checking. Just in case the young man here decides to begin to do things ahead of time. He started kicking when you were two months? Mm hmm. <laughs> What is it? My love. You know it's been a long time you called me that. He's always been Toby. I know. I want to make you a promise. But first, I want you to forgive Ransom. I don't want to talk about that now. Let's talk about it now. We can't keep pretending like it never happened. It did happen. Let's face it and get over it. Once and for all. Hey. Ransom and I loved each other so much. But we never realized that love dies. When we met each other, we couldn't control our emotions. We thought it was love. My love, I need you to forgive Ransom. That is the only way I can be sure that you have forgiven me. When we ran into each other, we couldn't control our emotions. We thought it was love. But we thought wrong. I promise you that we will never, ever have any other relationship in common other than being brother and sister. I promise. I never realized how much I loved you until I saw you in the arms of Tiola. My love. My loyalty and my love has always been here and will always be here. Please. You, 
You have to forgive me about the heart. Sorry, I, I was going crazy. I needed to hold on to something. I forgive you a long time ago. Yes, what can I do for both of you? Why did you bring that man to my house? Tuna, you and I have been friends for years. I just came to tell you. Let me take over from here. Okay. You see, Donna, Desri and I went into a game and Things have turned out differently. We have struck a chord of harmony. And I think we, we love each other very much. But this has been going on for like two months now. And I think I'm falling deeper and deeper in love with her every day that passes by. Daisy, you. Love Desi. <laughs> Desi is not the love type. So don't waste your time. Oh yes, I know I would not have your ass back for anything in the world because I have an issue with trust. Once it is betrayed, that's it for me. There is no going back. But I, I still want you to be in good hands. Not with crazy Desi. I know her. You don't know her like I do. I'm alone in my knowledge of her. And that makes me feel happy and makes my feelings exclusive. We're leaving for London together. Tomorrow morning, actually. Um, we decided to fasten things up a bit, so... We got a lawyer. Here are the divorce papers. If you sign it, then we can get the divorce done, over and done with, and um, we can get married and you can carry on with your life. Yeah. <laughs> Donna, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. But this is not the old Desri you used to know. This is a new Desri. Ransom. He's changed me. He's changed the way I think and the way I live. Okay, that's not a problem at all. I'll give you the divorce. Make sure she loves you endlessly, else you report to me. <laughs> you know you've got a big sister. <laughs> oh, don't worry, that would be necessary because it won't happen. Yeah, not at all. It won't happen. Hmm. <laughs> okay, oh. don't cheat on her too. <laughs> oh no, not at all. <laughs> Take care. Bye. My dear sister, I heard that things worked out between Ransom and yourself. 
and that makes me happy and that makes me so glad what are you reading? an email from my brother grandson Okay, let me continue. Okay. I now live in London with Desri, the love of my life. She's good, easygoing, and has settled down to being a wife. A good one to me. Amazing? <laughs> exactly. But I guess God thinks I need rest too. So he gave me a woman who's been through a lot and now is ready to settle down to married life. Wait, I'm coming. And wait for this. We know. Oh my god, we are expecting our first baby. <laughs> yes. The doctor confirmed her five weeks gone yesterday. Baby. <laughs> stop waiting and come here. I need my wife too. Your wife is coming. She she's a good wife. How, how is that? <sighs> you know, we're soon going to be three in this house. And honestly. I can't wait. How much longer? <laughs> the doctor said I am going to do something this week. <laughs> Come here. Back to emails. Come here, baby. Oh. You need to rest. Your wife is here. Yeah. Trying to Be here. turn. Ah, oh, trying to turn. Mm. Your laptop. Still Kick it away. <laughs> mm. Mm. And turn. Turn like, turn him like, um, like a trunk. Like a wheelbarrow. <laughs> <laughs> don't you laugh at me? You put me in the same. Don't laugh at me. You're moving with don't, you, man. Shut, don't you laugh? I'm laughing with you, my love. Yes, don't. So. I'm <laughs> laughing. You should laugh. I really want you laughing. You love me forever. Yeah. 